Alright folks, welcome back to the channel Skins for Life where we're now on part 4 of Liberty vs. Warriors. Now, I really wanted to take the time to talk about three things while you guys enjoy the gameplay and still that, you know, critiquing of Madden 12 will go on until the game comes out and then when the game comes out there will be more critiquing and so on and so on but as you see the footage in front of you is enough to critique Madden by itself yes folks that is all pro football 2k8 that you're seeing once again not Madden 12 now and I will get back to why I'm doing this but um, first thing I want to talk about, um, I know Ryan Moody talked about the intros being repetitive. Well, I want to say that something else is going to be repetitive, and that's the halftime show. From what I've seen in all the games I've played and all the video game footage that's out there, each halftime show has shown the quarterback do its signature fist pump. Now, when... I first saw it, I thought, hey, maybe it's just you know a one-time thing. It's showing a quarterback. But I hadn't thrown a touchdown pass, or, I, or there wasn't a big play in that game, but yet Jay Cutler was doing the fist-pumping thing. He's not on Jersey Shore, last I checked. Well, he could be. He is a douchebag, but um, that's beside the point. And I just got through watching on Operation Sports their uh, first half footage of Ravens versus Steelers. I know Ravens fans hate the Steelers and Steelers fans hate the Ravens. Well, I hate both teams, so that's the only mention I'll get. But in that gameplay footage of Madden 12, I saw the fist pump animation again. This time, another douchebag. Ben Roethlisberger was doing it. So, it seems like that will be repetitive. That will be a routine thing that you will see in a halftime show. A quarterback will do a fist pump. If that's all we're going to see, then I feel bad for Madden 12 this year as far as that's concerned. You might as well skip the halftime theatrics if they're going to keep being repetitive. So, um, just wanted to chime in on that. Okay. You ever notice games copying off of one another? The second thing I want to talk about. I call it the slow assimilation of 2K football controls. Oh, you don't think so? Then what's the tackle button doing in Madden 12? That was from 2K football. That was the tackle button. And... <laughs> It, that a game that strives to be that markets itself as the greatest simulation ever has slowly followed the blueprint of certain parts of the game of 2K. Ian Cummings, dearly departed, sat there and said one time that I admired 2K's O line, D line interactions and then proceeded to show footage of that foot of, of that game of uh, 2K8 and how he was able to imp uh, how he got his programmers to implement that interaction as limited as it was and I think what Madden Madden 10 Madden 11 so you tell me that's why they, that's why most folks don't like remakes. When somebody else is trying to redo what someone else has done, it's almost a 60-40 split. 60 being that it's going to be bad, 40% being is, that it's going to be good. And Madden has shown it to be bad. Now, have they improved on the O-line, D-line interactions? as negotiable I'm like there's some good moments there's some bad moments but hey 60 40 split remember that uh, last thing I want to talk about because I know I'm coming up 
on the five minute mark of this clip. I have a great timing, by the way. I also have a timer on here, too. Uh, last thing, and this is a message for EA Sports. Make me forget about any 2K football game. When you're able to do that, that's when Madden will be a great game. But they have to produce a great game first to make me forget. It's almost like, you know, there's some guys, we have nights where, where you, you're, go, you, you're having a bad night. You're or like whatever is nothing's going right. What gets you through the night? What what what's the what's the some of the main things that get people through the night? They think about the good things in life. When stuff is going bad, humans we tend to think about the good in life. Now let's uh, transfer that the bad thing in life, Madden, the good things in life. 2K football, real football, 2K football when it came out made me almost forget about real football because real football was in 2K. Real football is not in Madden as of yet. It is coming but it's not there yet. So what do I have to think about? 2K. So that's the message to Madden. Make me forget about not. Let me not think about 2K while I'm playing Madden. Or we'll continue to have misdirection videos like the one I'm putting out. And that's why I made this video that way. Because it's a constant reminder that 2K will forever be talked about until you top them and incorporate more real technique into the game and I'm out on that note and you'll see more parts later. Peace.